Perseverance is preparing to use its coring drill for the first time, starting with its rock abrading bit seen here at the center of this navcam image. Here's a rock hammer for scale, which is appropriate because in some ways the grinding tool is a bit like the tool used by a field geologist. This abrading bit was installed back on earth and is now being checked out to make sure the drill is working as designed. What you don't see is that the drill uses both a rotary motion and a hammer motion like this example of a hammer drill on earth. Combining these two motions is a much more effective way to drill or grind into material like concrete or a rock. The Spirit and Opportunity rovers had a rock abrasion tool, the RAT, that used a clever combination of two rotary motions to grind a four centimeter hole, about an inch and a half. They also used two different brushes to clean out the rock powder. Perseverance will use compressed air to do that. But why go to all this effort and expense? Because rock surfaces get weathered over time. The rocks in this landscape in Chile were made from explosive volcanic eruptions, but their reddish color is the result of weathering, which hides their real color and texture. Breaking off a piece with a rock hammer exposes a fresh surface, which is key to figuring out how they form. Perseverance recently encountered a rock that nicely shows how the surface of Mars rocks can be altered. And here's a rock hammer for scale. The view from MassCam Z shows thin flakes of material that appear to have come from the rock. If you look closely, it's clear there's a smooth dust covered coating that's flaking off. This means that some process deposited a layer of new material on the rock after it formed. On Earth, that process typically would involve water. So this could be evidence of water from ancient Lake Jezero interacting with this rock. Perseverance is now parked on rocks just inside the feature known as Sita, which contains some of the oldest rocks in Jezero Crater. This is a good reason to deploy all the rover's instruments and maybe even collect a sample. It starts by taking some measurements before the grind, as seen in this set of HASCAM images. This allows the instruments to get a before and after read of the rock, which can be used to help understand how much weathering has occurred. The coring drill is now poised to do a job it was so carefully designed to do. Now we wait to see if it works.